We have all day out of your calendars to be here with us. We hugely appreciate it and we are super stoked to be here in Seoul to be talking about some amazing things. And before we do that, before we get into the real crux of what it is we're here to talk about, I thought, I thought I'd start with a story. I thought I'd suggest, let's go back in time for a second. Let's go back 10, 12 years, and, and that's an important time for us folks at Databricks, because that's really when our company was founded. And so if we transport ourselves back in time to that particular moment in Silicon Valley, and we think about what was happening in the marketplace, really what we saw back then was the rise of a small number of incredibly successful companies, amazingly successful companies. And they were being amazingly successful. Think about it, 10, 12 years ago, back in Silicon Valley. In fact, 10, 12 years ago, even here in Korea, a small number of technology companies being incredibly successful in their business. And why were they being incredibly successful in their business? Because they were using AI everywhere while those around them, the companies that they were trying to disrupt, were not. That was the secret to their success. I'll mention the ones in the Bay Area for sure. Companies like Google, uh, Amazon up in Seattle, Netflix, the, the whole meta organization. AI is pervasive right throughout their businesses, and suddenly they're seeing this massive success. I probably won't mention the Korean ones for obvious reason, and if you think about why they were seeing that success, what was it that they were doing, particularly in the world of data, that allowed them to be successful with AI pervasively inside of their organizations while others were not? Well, the first thing to think about is that they were employing thousands of people to come into their organization, thousands of data engineers, thousands of data scientists, analysts to come into their company, and they were asking these people to build new modern data platforms, and that's probably the second thing that they were doing. That they were saying, the way in which folks have produced and consumed data in the past, the platforms that organizations have standardized on, that have used to, get, to extract value from the data, those are not going to work inside of this organization. We're going to start all over again, we're going to start afresh, and we're going to build something called a modern data platform. Concepts like data warehouses, for example, did not exist inside of those organizations 10 years ago, as they were starting to see this amazing success by making AI pervasive right throughout their company. And it gave birth to this idea of the modern data platform, but it also gave birth to another really, really important thing, which really became the mission of our company. How do we allow all organizations, every company, to see massive success in its business through the use of data, and probably more importantly, through the extraction of value through the use of AI, pervasively inside of that organization? And for the longest time, that was very much the mission of, the com of our company. How do we let you think about and adopt modern data platforms without having to hire thousands of people to come in and build something that's bespoke and that's intricate and that's difficult to use? How do we allow you to get to that point really easily? But we probably undershot. We probably didn't realize that very, very quickly, the world moved on. The world moved on to a point where it's not just enough to say we are going to be an AI first company. It's not enough to say we're going to make great use of our data and we're going to make sure that we build AI into the customer experience or we build AI into the way that we're thinking about our supply chains. None of that is enough anymore. In fact, the goalposts have now moved completely. It's now the case that the ticket to the ball, that 
in order to participate in this revolution, where it used to be the requirement that to do so you could speak Scala or Python or R or SQL, now, now anybody who can speak Korean should be able to have access to this value. Anybody who can speak Korean should be able to ask things of our day. Should be able to say, well, how much of that did we do? Or more importantly, how much of that will we do without having to know those difficult programming languages? Now, now it's become a journey really of democratization. And why that's important is because it puts the responsibility on all of us. This is no longer a job where our function is to make sure that our company is able to use data and AI to see inordinate success in the marketplace. This is now a responsibility on everybody in this room to make sure that all of the people in our company, and by all of the people, I mean the folks in HR and the folks in finance, anybody who can speak Korean, will be able to get value from the data so that they are better at their jobs and that they are making our company better at meeting the requirements of our customers. And that's a, that's a big mandate. That's a heavy responsibility that sits on all of our shoulders. And I invite you to take that on. We're going to spend the whole day thinking about how we can enable you to go out and democratize access to data and AI inside of your organization. The weight of responsibility is heavy on all of your shoulders, but I know if you stick with us for the day, we're going to get you started on that journey. And we've got an awesome day planned for you. We really have. Most importantly, and we know this is most important because you give us your feedback and you tell us what you want, most importantly, you're going to be hearing from customers right here in Korea as part of our keynotes and then through the afternoon tracks. <coughs> excuse me. And they will be talking about how they are using Databricks today. Right? <coughs> they'll be talking about how they're building modern data platforms, how they're building AI, how they're building Gen AI into everything that they do inside of their organizations. Thank you to those customers who've agreed to do that. We massively value the interactions that we have with you, and we're very grateful that you've agreed to spend this time with us, talking to everybody in the room about these fascinating subjects. I also wanted to give a thank you to our sponsors. It's really difficult for us to put on these events. We do them right across Asia Pacific. Very expensive for us to put on these events. And our, our sponsors don't just make it a lot easier, and they don't just help us with the burden, but they also come and they spend time outside in the booths. And I'll ask you to go and spend some time with them. Ask them how they can help you out. They have huge expertise, either in providing technology capabilities that augment our platform, <coughs> or in helping in the systems integration work that is required around migration, platform modernization, <coughs> the establishment of use cases, and so on. So spend some time with them. And thank you to those sponsors. We hugely, <coughs> hugely appreciate it. What else? Well, we have a fantastic day planned for you. We're going to have a fairly long keynote this morning because we've got to get in some important subjects. We need to learn about the data intelligence platform. That's super important. And we are going to spend time, <coughs> excuse me, learning about the data intelligence platform. But we also want to make sure you don't just learn from us, we want to make sure that you learn from our customers as well. So they'll, they'll be part of that keynote. And then we have a specific piece of the keynote that's all about Gen AI. Because customers tell us they want to know about how they can build Gen AI into their data platforms. They tell us how they want to know about how to build Gen AI into the applications that they're building. And so Barry is going to be spending some time with us talking to us about how Databricks can help you with your Gen AI strategy. We've got three tracks in the afternoon, lots of great sessions, 
lots of great customers speaking as well, stick around for that. And then of course, I'm told at the end of all of this, two important things. I'm told first, there's a lucky draw. And who amongst us doesn't love a lucky draw? I love a lucky draw, I really do. But the other thing I've been told, and this is super important, is that to participate in the lucky draw, you have to be in the room. You've got to actually be there. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, the, the, the lucky draw will be uh, ending off the day. I'll make sure that I swing back and, uh, and try and give out some of the prizes. I also just wanted to conclude by just underlining our commitment to Korea. <clears throat> we are big believers in multi-cloud. And we made sure two years ago, two years ago, that we launched here in Korea, where Korean customers have their data on both AWS and Azure. And we've continued to build out those regions as quickly as we can. So those are both available today. We also know that serverless is important to our customers. And so we're investing in that, that's coming to the Korean market here on AWS just next month. We, we are able to today provide Korean technical support for our customers. Next month, and this is super important, next month we will launch Korean certification and training. Please go out, do the training, and then most importantly, get certified. I hear it's great for your resume, but I also hear it teaches you all sorts of really important things. So do the certification, do the training, and then of course we've heard from our customers that Gen AI and AI is super important, and we absolutely have on our near-term roadmap the capability for our region right here in Korea to do model serve, <coughs> to do rag style architectures, to, to support the use cases that you need, it's a, it's a major, major area of focus for us. And then finally, just a call out to the amazing team that we have here in Korea. We have a really significant team here now. And these are people who are eager to come into your businesses, to spend time understanding your problems and the opportunities, and to help you translate that into strategies that are infused with all sorts of capabilities from our modern data platform to make sure that your organization can deliver on that mission, that you are able to build AI into everything that you do as a company, and that you are able to democratize access to data in your organization so that everybody is able to see some value. Thank you so much for spending the day with us today. Hugely appreciated.